Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Virgo. So if you're a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Virgo, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force a message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Rose can get reversed, so take how it resonates. position here six of swords okay all right so this person feels like you are right now nine of cups queen of cups six of swords you are you are emotionally walking away from them you are emotionally moving away from them or you have emotional detached from them. This is how this person feels. Like if you are emotionally closed off or you are emotionally pretty much done with them. This is how this person feels here. For some of you, uh, you could have blocked this person. If you were the one who's blocked this person, this person really feels that you are getting rid of them. You know, that's what I got. This person feels like if you have blocked this person or if you are even energetically pushing this person away or blocking them, this person feels like the reason you are doing that is because you are getting rid of them. Like you are getting rid of them from your life. Like you are kicking them out of your life. That sounds a bit over dramatic, but that's the, that's the exact words I got. Getting rid of them. So this is how this person feels. For some of you, this person also feels like you are traveling, you are, you know, and if you are traveling or if you have posted any pictures of traveling, this person very well could be stalking you. Everybody stalks these days. So this person could very well be stalking you. And if you have posted any pictures of like you are traveling and everything, this person feels like you are doing everything you possibly can to get over them, to move on from them, to get rid of them from your system. Like you are trying to get rid of their energy from your system. This is how this person feels. Yeah, see, two of swords, eight of cups, seven of cups. Not to mention this person might feel like you're already exploring your options here with the seven of cups here. But yeah, eight of cups, again, walking away. You are walking away from this person. And two of swords, it's like, um, for some of you, this person could be thinking that this has become a sort of a Mexican standoff where uh, you are waiting for this person to apologize and this person is waiting for some sort of signs from your side, you know, like some sort of sign from your side that will let them know or that will tell them that you are not completely over them, that you are still interested in them one way or other, you know, uh, this person is waiting for a sign and you're waiting for them to come towards you or apologize to you or make an offer towards them. So it has become this sort of Mexican standoff. And this person feels like this is only going to sort out between the both of you only if you decide to apologize to this person. If you if you are the one who wants to apologize to this person, only then this is going to sort between the both of you here. The person feels like you're also taking time out to think, like you are thinking a lot about them, not in the sense you're missing and thinking about them. You're thinking a lot about this connection and about what they have done and everything. This person feels like in hindsight, almost like you can see everything about them much more clearly. Like in hindsight, this person feels like you are seeing through everything they have said and done. In hindsight, you are able to do that. You are able to see through everything they have done. <laughs> Ace of Cups in reverse, Six of Pentacles, what is the strength? Yeah. Some of 
Some of you, this person could have breadcrumbed you. They were giving to two situations at, like at the same time, they were giving to two people or two situations. But yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. This person feels like you have lost all love you had from them. For them, it's almost like this person feels like you are almost disgusted by them, and that is why you are trying to, as I said, that energy of you are trying to get rid of them. You are trying to get rid of them from your system, even. So this person feels like you have lost all love for for them, and you look at them as a sort of a problem in your life. This person really feels very down. That is why they keep feeling that you are seeing them in the worst possible light possible. In the worst possible light, basically. also feels you are not ready to hear them out or even any sort of offer from them you're not ready for any sort of offer or even hearing them out you're pretty much closed off is how this person is um, feeling here At some point, because you did have a lot of emotions for this person, this person, you're the empress at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Yeah, at some point, it's very possible you you did really care about this person. You did really love them. And that is why this person at one point didn't, couldn't think or didn't even imagine that you will be able to walk away from them, that you will be able to let go of them. This person never imagined that. But right now, you are showing that strength. You are showing that strength that you can hold back from them. You can move away from them. You can do everything in your life you possibly can without them. For some of you, if you had some travel plans with this person and everything, you wanted to travel together a certain place and everything, you could be just making plans of traveling alone or you could like, it doesn't even have to be travel. That's just an example. So if you had some plans of doing something together, this person is seeing you doing everything alone here and you don't need no one. You need no one. That's the kind of energy you are in. And this person is pretty surprised to see you in this way because in this light especially because this person is almost this energy of this person is used to seeing you very very um, I don't know why am I getting this but this person is used to seeing you very emotionally dependent on them almost codependent on them that is how this person saw, saw you especially more than emotional dependence if you are codependent on a person emotionally it becomes very very difficult to uh, detach yourself from that connection detach yourself from that person so this person thought that you are almost emotionally codependent on them i'm not saying you were this person thought that you were emotionally codependent on them so this person is finding you like a very big surprise or it's, it's a shock for this person that you are doing everything alone all by yourself you are being able even able to hold back from them or even you manage to block them and you are detached from them, you are emotionally detaching from them, you are blocking them, you are doing whatever you wanted to do all by yourself and you need no one. This is a bit, uh, shocking thing for this person here. So I must say this is someone who could have underestimated you in one way or other. energy at the bottom of the deck yeah seven of uh, wands in the mix uh, this you for some of you feel like this person is waiting for you this person it's almost this energy of you feel that this person thought and knew that you will be back you feel that you it's almost like you think that this person really thought that they knew you they thought that they knew you this is how you feel they thought Okay, this is gonna get complicated. They thought that you are going to be back. This is what you thought. You knew, you knew this person is thinking that you will be back. 
you knew that this person thinks that they know you i hope i didn't confuse you there but yeah and it's almost as this energy of you felt like this you thought that this person is overconfident they were very overconfident about who you are what you're going to do what you're going to do next what's your actions wh what are your actions going to be it's almost that energy of this person felt that they knew you but they were wrong and that's why it's a big shock or a surprise for this person that they're seeing you doing everything you possibly could want to do all by yourself living your life all by yourself being able to do whatever you want to do all by yourself not needing anyone for some of you again don't get triggered but this person might have they saw you as someone who's a bit needy especially emotionally needy that is what emotional codependent connection means so this person saw you at one point as someone who's very emotionally needy so this person thought that you're going to be bad because you need them right you emotionally need them so you are going to be bad but if now this person is realizing that you're not back and you are doing everything you possibly could with your life and you don't need no one. So what is their role anymore in your life? What value do they have in your life anymore? Do they even have a value? almost like for some of you you were carrying because you were too into this person or something you were carrying the weight of this connection but now that you have removed yourself from this person's life or there's a breakup or separation that has happened here now this person has to bear everything like emotionally this person has to go through all of it alone whatever they are going through they have to go through it alone and they don't have anyone they can share that burden with they don't have anyone they can share their problems with even like even they, they this person feels like they don't have anyone they can even talk with so that they feel good it's almost like you let go of the burden here you drop the burden and you let this uh, you are letting this person figure out their own stuff person as someone who's very very stubborn here with the king of pentacles like they were very stubborn they were very orthodox they were very hell-bent in having things their own way you know someone also the king of pentacles is not the king of pentacles is someone who's very stubborn and emotionally closed off very unlike the queen of cups the queen of cups is much more open vulnerable sweet nurturing king of pentacles is very practical and realistic and grounded and also king of pentacles can be a bit emotionally closed off or or not emotionally um doesn't know emotion how to be emotionally vulnerable that's what the energy of the king of pentacles is someone who's much more focused on material things and everything they don't give they don't prioritize emotions that's very well the king of pentacles energy so for some of you uh, this was a mismatch of energy here there was a mismatch of energy but uh, this seems like you dropped the weight of the connection you dropped it and you stood your ground and you take took a step back and this person again they thought because we do have a seven of wands in the middle sorry Seven of Wands in the mix with the Three and the Ten of Wands, right? So this person thought that even though you are standing your ground and even though you are angry on them or you are you are angry with them or whatever, you are eventually going to just give in because you care about them so much that you are going to give in or you are going to let your boundaries down. You are going to stop standing your ground. You are just going to be vulnerable and just let it go and give in and submit here. Like this person was very very sure about what they. Like they, they were very sure that they knew what you're going to do, but you surprised this person. Those are too many. Oh, 
Mario fan and the Empress. It could be dealing with the uh, Earth sign here. Taurus, Libra. Hmm. Oh, look at that. We have the King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Could be dealing with an water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or definitely an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hmm. Yeah, you very well could have been married to this person here. Since we do have King and Queen of Pentacles, Hierophant, King and Queen of Cups here. And again, that's that energy of especially if you were married to this person. This person really took you for granted and hence that confidence of where are you going. You know? But yeah, this person, uh, right now this person sort of feel like they, they now understand how much you were doing in this connection or what you did for them or what, what you were doing for this connection. How much of the weight you were pulling for this connection. It's almost like you knew that you had to walk away from this person to understand that what part you played in their life or what role you were playing or how much you were doing. You knew that. And that is exactly what is happening here. Now that you have separated from this person and you are showing a very, very independent nature, now this person is sort of in this... Well, firstly, they are shocked. And secondly, they, are, they now have to pull the weight of the connection. They don't have someone to share the load of life, I guess. Um, and now they sort of like miss you and now they're thinking highly of you and now they're thinking how much you did for them or how much you invested, you were invested in this connection and how much of a security you brought in their life is what I'm getting here. Now they know. Not to mention, uh, this person, they definitely see you as their match now. Like in hindsight, now that they are seeing you very, very independent, it's very possible this person with the King of Pentacles, they thought very highly of themselves. They had that cocky kind of confidence, so they thought very highly of themselves. So this person, some way or the other, they saw you as someone lower than them because you were emotionally much more dependent or you were the one who was emotionally much more vulnerable here. But now in hindsight, this person realizes that you can be as successful as they are you can be uh, like you are their match if they are the king of pentacles you totally can be the queen of pentacles which is making this person have these feelings for you like they're feeling some emotions for you with the king of cups there because they finally see you as their match if for some of you you literally were trying to you tried everything you did everything or you tried to do everything to make this person understand that it's almost like you were their match. You saw them as their match. You knew the potential of this connection. You could have, for some of you, you really could have pushed yourself very, very hard because you wanted this person to see your worth. It's low self-esteem issues for some of you could have had that and because of which you really, really pushed yourself hard to somehow convince, convince this person through your actions or through your words, whatever, that they are a perfect match. But this person... They thought very highly of themselves. They were overconfident. Didn't even have to be think very highly of themselves, but they were just overconfident. And now they are sort of like realizing that yes, you were the match. Let's just keep this up, see if it comes out again. page of cups this is a very selfish and person you were dealing with someone who's very selfish five of cups we have five and nine of cups here four of cups in the mix 
Yeah, so you had to ignore this person too for finally this person, uh, for finally, for this person to finally have a shake up, like shake up, wake up moment. Yeah, it's almost like you were trying to, your best to satisfy this person. Uh, not exactly satisfy this person, but you know, like to to see, to, to make them see your worth. You were trying your best here. You really pushed yourself hard and did your best. You are a hardworking sign, not sure of Virgo. So yeah, you were doing everything. You were putting in the effort here. But what I'm getting here is this was someone who was not appreciating you. They were not appreciating you. And that was a problem. They needed to appreciate you. They were not. And now they are. With the five of cups. Now they're disappointed. Now they feel like it's almost like that energy of they should have treated you better when they had you. They should have get a song here like they should have i can't remember the song i've heard that but you know they should have given you flowers when they had the opportunity that that sort of a thing they should have taken care of you when they had the opportunity because now they're disappointed in themselves and how they have messed this entire thing up to look at that two of cups here i just randomly started talking about the nine of cups in reverse and i saw it we have the two of cups here yeah now this person misses you now they understand they have feelings for you and it was perfect things were going perfect the life was sorted yeah it's almost like someone who's very self-indulgent someone who just you keep pouring in their cup but that cup has literally like no bottom so you are you, you can you can keep pouring pouring and pouring but the cup will never fill right so this is also with the nine of cups in reverse very possibly you were dealing either you with the nine of cups in reverse you didn't know how to love yourself and put yourself first or you're dealing with someone who doesn't know how to love they didn't know how to love and they kept ignoring the cup have the eight of cups seven of cups coming in i can't find it i think it would take a lot of time to find that okay here's the thing the eight of cups and seven of cups you could be dealing with an aries aquarius fool so this person really thought that they will go out there and they will be able to find they will have a lot of options there, there's going to be plenty of fishes in the sea so they will be able to walk away and be fine. They will have someone else taking care of them again. Someone else pouring in their cup of love again. But that didn't happen with this person. So now they want to come back. They left and now they want to come back. Ooh. Yeah. Ten of swords. This person got kicked by someone else kicked out kicked away or whatever i don't know why i even got kicked uh, but yeah this person got there got betrayed by someone else and this feels like again this person really thought there's going to be plenty of other fishes in the sea so this person went towards a particular fish and that fish kicked them i mean that person kicked them 
and now this person is like oh wait Virgo was not like this Virgo cared for me Virgo cared about me Virgo was nice to me Virgo was too nice for me or too nice to me and now they're like oh well, Virgo was perfect and I suddenly miss Virgo now Who started missing you and feeling the feels? I saw someone rolling their eyes. of you did have empress at one point remember so for some of you this is that energy of you have finally found your worth and you finally know what you deserve and you know you don't deserve someone manipulating you someone not treating you well someone you know being the five of swords energy five of swords is like someone cunning betraying b betraying you being cunning being manipulative with their words playing word games thinking very highly of them because in the five of swords here this literally looks like this guy over here really thinks that he won won here they think that they really won this game but they they didn't know this was a hollow victory for them this this was a hollow victory for them so even if you uh, it's, it's this energy of you are realizing that you don't want to deal with someone who like why would you want to you want love, right? You don't want games. You don't want games. You don't want mind games. You don't want manipulation in the name, name of love. Who wants that? So you're in that energy of... This person just created confusion. For some of you, they just confused you with their own actions or with their... Sorry, with their actions or with their words. And they kept confusing you and it's very possible again some of you you were just you didn't love yourself enough and that is why you give this gave this person chance you you were putting up with this person because you didn't care about yourself enough you didn't love yourself enough and now i don't know what happened <coughs> give me a minute and now this person is like sorry now you're like I don't want to deal with that kind of energy anymore. I know I deserve better things in life. I know I deserve better people. I know I'm going to have like options as well. And, and even if I don't have options, this is that energy I'm picking up on. Even if I don't have options, even if I don't find someone right away, I would much rather be alone than be with someone like this. like this energy we have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck i don't like this energy this is not a good energy of course yeah thought so five of wands all right so this is someone who will try to come back in and confuse you create drama and point fingers at you that you are being selfish 
you are being selfish you are the one who left this relationship you are the one who abandoned this connection this person will try to guilt trip you you are going out there and having fun you have other options you never cared about them sort of that energy because this is someone who has is planning they have plans and they are planning and this person's intentions aren't that great it's, it's because they got kicked by someone else kicked out by someone else now they want you right we did have the five of pentacles so I, I shuffled the deck but we did have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck right so yeah this person wants to come back and create some drama and fight and everything. They want to confuse us. This person wants to come back and confuse you. And this person with the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords is a very sharp energy. And the Queen of Swords all by itself is a good energy. But then we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and Five of Wands. So this person is going to make you doubt yourself of the choices you have made. Of you, the choice you made of uh, choosing yourself. Of not indulging in them anymore this person is going to make you doubt that choice and make you believe that you are wrong or that you are at fault here what I'm also getting is this person might try to involve other people as well like if you have some common friends family or whatever this person might try to influence them as well you know to convince you that you should give them another chance or that you are wrong, that they are not as bad as you think they are. This ain't a good energy. Let's keep it here. reverse don't go back what i got with the wheel of fortune in reverse don't go back to the place that didn't treat you well don't go back to the place that didn't make you feel well don't don't go back to the bad fortune you have because we already have the wheel of fortune right so you do know you have good things coming your way you are going to reap the good karma you are going to reap that benefit of good karma here you did good, you're going to reap that. But don't go back to a place where... The, don't go back to someone or a place that didn't make you feel good. Be like... Be clear. Have clear boundaries. Speak very, very clearly. I don't think Virgo should have a problem with speaking clearly, but... Well... Anyways. Ace of Swords. Be... Speak... Sorry. Speak clearly. Be very protective about your boundaries. You know the truth. You know your truth. Hold on to that truth. Don't make people doubt that truth. Yeah, Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. You have learned some tough lessons. With the Hierophant. Don't forget those lessons. You have become wiser much more. So don't make unwise decisions anymore. Yeah, well that's your reading Virgo. Uh, I hope you found some clarity to this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care guys. Bye bye.